going on guys? Alex from the 14 ADC and today, or I should say tonight, I have a pretty big unboxing or unpackaging to you for you guys. Uh, this is coming in via Lefty EDC um, through the Lefty EDC pass around and it is two, so it's four knives. Um, there's two in one group and two in the other group. I just happened to sign up first um, on both of them. Uh, so I got them uh, in today. I apologize, my face probably looks pretty red. Uh, I need to quit, hurry up and do this uh, unboxing. I just got home. I went on a nice long walk. Uh, I got home, or came back, jumped in the shower, and I have to film this before my wife gets home because I have to cook dinner for her because it is her one of her nights that she works late at the um, clinic she works at. So unboxing um, knife is the Kaiser Original. Literally got dressed and I walked over and was like thinking about something else when I grabbed this. Um, this hasn't seen any pocket time in quite a while, but this actually was a gift from Lefty EDC. Um, so kind of fitting that we're opening up some Lefty EDC boxes or packages. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Um, the weekend is almost here. Got one more day of the week. These are always so dang hard to, to get out of here. I mean, Kevin sends these boxes or these packages, but there's one knife, there's another knife. There's another knife and the last knife. So toss that to the side. All right, so I'm trying to think here how, I think this is how they were um, arranged. All right, so we got a Kaiser. We got a new Tuya. We got a CMB, which I think might be the first CMB knife I've ever handled. And we have a concept, which I think is also the first concept knife that I've ever handled. Um, we're going to start with the Kaiser and the, I think it's a Kaiser and the um, Tuya. But this is called the Sub 3 OBK. Very interesting name, um, to be honest with you. I don't know what that is from or what's behind it, but maybe I'll have to find out from my full review. Um, size 2.94 inches. The designer is Mikey Carlson. Um, it's a 154 cm black blade with black aluminum and a clutch lock. So I'm pretty excited to see that. From what I remember seeing pictures of, it's a pretty um, interesting design, interesting blade shape. <sighs> Try to hurry through these, but these things, I don't, if I don't put the boxes back together now, They'll probably just sit here in this room and I won't get to them and I just want to make sure everything's nice and neat and tidy. So I'm going to put everything back together. All right, so here is the Sub 3 OBK. You guys can see just a pretty, I mean, all blacked out, which is cool. Clutch lock. I heard a tap. Um, backspacer. You guys are picking up on that. Rattling a little, little bit. Um, loop over style deep carry clip. I did see that Kevin put in our Slack chat that the designer, uh, Mikey, asked for the clip to be reversible. Um, for some reason, Kaiser did not do that. So that's kind of weird. Uh, this aluminum is like really, or, yeah, aluminum. This is uh, super textured. Not textured, but it's like super, I don't know, like not sandpaper, but like really different than other aluminums that I'm used to. Um, it is still a little bit cold because, uh, you know, I just got home like an hour ago. Fires right out of there. That must be Mikey's um, designer tag. Sub 3 OBK in Kaiser and 154CM. Um, so it's kind of a, a drop point with a harpoon, a little bit of a ramp. Um, very comfortable. Good little, you know, good little EDC knife, nice size. No blade play. Good drop shot action. I can already tell that it doesn't have um, the best detent. I don't know. I'm assuming because Kevin did have this, he had to have taken it apart and updated the springs, uh, which you can with the you know you can do with the clutch lock. Um, but yeah, so sub three, sub three OBK, and then its partner is the new Tuya Voodoo. Um, this is an S90V handmade satin flats and orange peel titanium. Um, I do not know if this is a Tuya design, a Dave Warren design, or if it's a collaboration with somebody. Um, so you get a microfiber, Warren Blades, which is home of Tuya USA. And it looks like Kevin threw some skifferoons in here. Um, 
So we put that back here. And honestly, when I saw Kevin throw this in the uh, pass round, I, I immediately jumped on it, mainly for this. I mean, I was interested in the new Kaiser as well, but uh, the you know new Tuya really drew me in because honestly, everything I have touched from Tuya, basically ever, has just been incredible. Um, so here is the Voodoo. You guys can see it has a huge um, deployment hole right there. I think this is the first time I've experienced orange peel um, titanium too. So that's pretty cool. Looks like it has kind of a like a bronzish color going on. Uh, milled clip that is not reversible. Looks like it's not a super deep carry um, just due to how the knife is functioned, but that's okay. Uh, you have K right there, which might be the designer's logo. Frame lock, um, backspacer. I'll have to look more into this to get, you know, updated if it's a uh, Tuya design, a, you know, uh, or if it's designed by somebody. But honestly, right away, the, the detent feels a little weak. Um, but, oh, fire's right out of there. And, guys, look at that just wicked warny right there. I mean, that's a wicked warny. Uh, just a real nice, comes down to a nice point. Hollow grind. There's a Tuya logo right there. S90V as well. Just a very, very large Ford finger choil for people with giant hands. Um, nice sterile edge right there comfortable this way and then yeah this thing is definitely not not my speed uh you know not something i would probably add to the collection but locked up tight oh and it already cut me so i was not expecting it to draw i mean that dropped very well you guys can see that i'm gonna start bleeding a little bit here but um and honestly i should have known that because with that big of a choil i mean you're look at that it's just landing right on my cuticle um Little bit of little bit of uh, lock stick, thumb flick. And this will honestly take a little bit getting used to because of the um, that hole was just so big. You can kind of you know put your finger through it almost, but um, good acoustics, and uh, yeah. So this is the Tuya Voodoo. And then we have the CMB, mm, not really saying much on there. I think this is a flipper knife with a crossbar lock, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Get a nice little pouch, um, a little microfiber on the inside open attention you are buying you are buying on knife keep the knife away from children thank you cmb so obviously cmb from what i know of them they are a budget brand um, and i don't think i've handled anything from them before so this will be new for everybody involved um yes so sorry i thought it was a crossbar lock but it's actually a button lock um, with a flipper tab all blacked out you can see it has the filler plat filler plab filler tab for a clip um this is a hydra design not really sure much about hydra um lanyard post tube whatever you want to call it and the backspacer has an interesting design in the g10 there kind of reminds me of like a sun or a snowflake kind of seems like a decent little detent mm. So it's not bad. You definitely have to push button it. Uh, but the button lock, a little bit of blade play. Um, definitely stands proud of the knife. But the button lock works pretty well. Detent could be definitely stronger. I mean, it's a little mushy. But it's a fun little fidget knife. I would have to see how much this costs. Uh, this is in 14C, which is nice. Nice little simple drop point that's a smaller knife but i can get all four fingers on there this is number 106 of the um i'll have to find out the design or the name of this knife too i know it's like a couple letters put together but yeah pretty fidgety pretty fun um so I have to get that on pocket and check it out but that is the unnamed cmb and then last but not least we have the concept loki uh, coming in at 2.99 inches designed by steve dunnick um, and satin 
S35VN and plain and blue anodized titanium. So this has a pretty funky little blade. Um, not funky, I guess, because it is a, so you get, not to interrupt, but you get a pouch with concepts, little information packet, but the pouch is definitely an interesting thing that only concept really does with this style of pouch. Um, all right, so this is a little bit smaller than I thought, but that's okay. I guess it is coming in at 2.99 inches on the blade. So nothing wrong with that at all. You guys know I like my smaller knives. All right, we'll put that right here. All right, guys, and here is the Loki. So you guys can see the anodized blue um, on the flats and then on the contoured areas, it is plain tie. Same thing back there, plain tie clip. And you guys can see right away that the hole in the blade is definitely unique. Um, you know, it looks like it's smiling at us right now. Um, dead centered. Ooh, fires are out of there. Nice detent, locked up really, really tight. Um, and then it has kind of a, a, a sheep's foot with a harpoon, a little bit of a reverse tanto. Um, Loki, I'm assuming that is Steve Dunnick's design logo. Uh, over here is concept, the knife number or model number and S35VN. Um, and Kevin was raving how comfortable this is. And yeah, he was absolutely right. This thing is obviously small, sub three inch blade, basically three inch blade. Uh, and this thing is super, super comfortable. You have this really, you know, nice choil here. It's probably like a, a 60, 40 choil, but you just get some great purchase. You can you have a little bit of a ramp right here, or you can go the whole way up here. And this thing is very, this honestly might be one of the better ergonomic knives I've ever handled. This thing just gets locked in your hand. Again, no blade play. Have to be careful with the drop. All right, it's gonna hit my nail, so I should be good. Nice droppy action. I've seen these on Instagram floating around. Um, and honestly, I wasn't, like I was interested in it. And as soon as I saw Kevin toss it in the pass round, I knew I wanted to check it out. Um, Cause it's just a funky looking knife with, you know, now it looks like it's frowning at you, but yeah, um, good action. And uh, I've had concept OEM stuff before, but never a true concept like design. Well, it's designed by Steve, but uh, branded as a, co or a concept, you know what I mean? So yeah, good action. I have to get used to, uh, I'm just scared of it biting me now because of that big choil. But yeah, so this was my unboxing of the concept Loki, which is grouped in there with the unnamed CMB knife. And then the other group, you have the Tuya Voodoo, as well as the Kaiser Sub-3 OBK. Um, huge shout out to Kevin for always providing these really, really dope knives to us. Um, I've said it before and I've said it, I'll say it again. I would not get to check out so many knives if it wasn't for Kevin. Um, you know, he really helps the channel keep going with content and uh, I'm always grateful for you, Kev. You know, so thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate it. But I'm going to wrap this up now because I got to go cook my wife dinner. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.